Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. So I'm sure there's a few of you out there wondering right now, like, what the hell am I doing promoting the game of cricket? I thought you hated cricket. Well, that's not entirely true, so let me explain. I'm American, so I obviously like the game of cricket. I've played it a lot. However, my issue is I just think it's played way too much in competition. You know, if you go to any big tournament, usually it's about 50% cricket, 50% 01. And because of that, it's my personal opinion, and I think it's just one of the reasons why the American standard of darts is a little bit, it's about one step behind everybody else in the rest of the world. But if you go into any bar or pub, any steel tip bar or pub in the United States on any given night, you're going to see cricket being played probably just a guess 90% of the time. So because there's such a dependency on cricket here in the United States, we might as well play it right. And this is where this book comes into play, How to Master the Game of Cricket, written by an American, Jason Carter. And there's actually, really cool, there's a foreword by Dr. Patrick Chaplin, also known as Dr. Darts. So he's from the UK, and what he does is go into a little bit of the history about the game. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, all right, who is this book really for? Who is it going to help? And you might think you're a hotshot cricket player. You can average three and a half marks per round. That's great. You don't need a book about cricket, but let me specifically show you. I'm going to fire up the webcam and uh, give you one example of who this book would be perfect for, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about it. Okay, I would highly recommend this book to the person that does this. If you look on the screen on the left, Pointmonger went first and scored three 20s with no points on the board whatsoever. So if you're the person that does this, then let me demonstrate. So as you see, I just scored five marks. Only two of those, actually only three of those counted, so I wasted two marks. So if you're the person that chases, I highly recommend this book because you definitely need it. So there you go, guys. There's one of the many examples that he goes over in this book in detail. I was player two there. I hit 520s. I would have been much better off going 19s. That way I would have had 19s closed and 38 points on my side. I wouldn't have had the lead at that point in the game. Instead, I chose to chase the opponent, and all I did was end up tying them and now they have the throw. So I'm always going to be behind in that situation. And pretty much, it's just not a good idea to chase the opponent in any situation whatsoever. So that goes, uh, he goes over that in detail in this book. And uh, I think if you're one of the guys out there that chase, and I see so many people that do it, then this book is definitely recommended for you. And also, I mean, there's so many other charts and graphs in this book. Some of the stuff I've never seen before. And there's actually a chart on page 84 and 86. I've never seen these charts before. So the author here, Jason Carter, definitely goes into so much detail. And I've never seen anybody put this much work into uh, talking about the game of cricket. So let's check this out. It is December, what is December 21st. Christmas is coming up in a couple days anyway. If you want to add an awesome book to your book library, you know, you can see there on Amazon, $8. I think it's definitely worth it. If you want to improve your game, it doesn't matter if you play soft tip, steel tip, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner to expert, there is something in here to learn, something by every, you know, something for everybody. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go give this a quick reread and uh, let's see if I can put anything good that I learned to use. Let's see. A few moments later. Yeah, that was decent. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's get this set up and see what we've learned. Okay, let me grab my darts here. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the book review. I haven't done one since 10th grade. The links will be down in the pinned comment. See you on the next video, guys. Later.